everyone, welcome back to Crochet Delight. I'm Barbara, and this is Sophia. So, first off, personally, I don't have anything to show you guys. I worked on videos this week, and I've got those kind of spread out for the next uh, few weeks. Let's see, all the way until literally Christmas Day. On Wednesdays, there should be some videos coming out, so that's what I did this week. Aside from taking this little one to the vet, <clears throat> she has a infection in her lungs, so I'll be taking care of her this week and not really doing too much of anything else. Um, the only good thing from her vet visit is she gained weight all the way up to three pounds, so she gained half a pound since the last time she went, which was about almost six months ago. But, someone did send in an entry. Oh, I know, Sophia. She doesn't feel so good. I'm going to put her down so that she can... Let's cover you over. Good girl. <laughs> Alright. So, we did get an entry. And the entry is by... It's a tongue twister. I have to make sure I get this right. Sally's Sassy Stitches. Try and say that three times fast. Or even ten times fast. <laughs> but thank you, Sally, for sending it in. And it looks like they came just in time. You made them just in time for the cold season. Uh, for me, it started snowing about at the beginning of the week. So, but take a look at her slippers. They look comfy as can be. So, take a look. All right, so thank you, Sally, for sending in the beautiful pictures of your, I want to say they're slipper socks, but they look great and they look really warm and it looks like you're ready for the winter season. Alright, so now I just want to give a little bit of an update. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to cut back on crocheting a little bit and do mostly yarn. Um, I seem to like doing yarn a little more. But I will still be crocheting, so every now and then you will see something that I've finished as far as crocheting has gone. Um, I should show you the Christmas stocking that I made, but I'll save that for when I have all three of them done. I'm working on the second one, and I gotta get that finished so that I can work on the third one and get that finished before Christmas. But, I just want to take a little bit of a break from crocheting. Uh, my wrists don't really want to do it that much anymore. I find that when I crochet for a long period of time now, I'm starting to get really sore on my wrist. So, that and of course, if you're sitting up and I tend to lean forward when I crochet, so my back starts hurting after a little while. But, um, yeah, that's about all I have for updates. But stay tuned for the next video that should be coming out on this next Wednesday. You guys should have already seen the one from this Wednesday. So there's, let's see, three more to go. And I have my Paradise Fibers kit coming that literally was just on its way yesterday. <clears throat> oh, I do want to tell you guys something um, about pets. There is a pet insurance that people can get, but be very careful when signing up with them. They are called True Panion. 
Number one, if it's a new dog and it hasn't had any problems yet, then you're more than likely to be able to use True Panion. If the dog is older, you get it from a shelter, or you just don't get pet insurance for them until they're older, you're more than likely not to be covered by anything from True Panion. Because if you have a previous illness for your dog, and you all of a sudden have a new illness for your dog, and it's related to the previous one, they will not cover it. So you'll be paying out of pocket no matter what you do. I was trying to True Panion for a while because I thought, pet insurance, great. I'd have something that would help me with her vet bills, something to help me keep her up and running because she's six years old. She's almost seven. Come March, I believe. But do not get True Panion unless you have like a newborn puppy because if it's a related illness to a previous illness the dog has, they won't cover it. It's kind of like if your dog gets into a car accident, they'll cover that. But if it ends up having breathing problems like a week or so after the accident that's related to the first one, they will not cover it. And they can pretty much relate any illness to a previous illness just for an excuse to charge you and not let you use the insurance. They will literally decline you every time. I've had True Panion for four months and I canceled it because they didn't pay for crap. They kept saying, no, it's related to a previous illness. We can't do it. So. There's a little tip for you, and I'm going to get out of here before I sneeze. So, well, without further ado, have a delightful day, and happy hooking, everyone. Bye!